How's your health these days, and how do you feel about getting back on the field for another opener? Uh, health is great. Best I've felt in four or five years, and uh, super excited for week one. So do you feel like the team has made the progress that it needed to make in the areas in which they needed to make it through the fall practice schedule? Yeah, no, we've been working uh, towards our goals since December. So it really didn't start here in August during fall camp. Um, this has kind of been something we've been doing all winter, all spring and all summer now. So, but yeah, I think we've made some, a lot of improvements, a lot of strides in areas that we needed to. So I, I think we're ready to go. Uh, one of the you could call it question marks on this team coming in was the skill position groups. How have they looked leading up to this first game? Uh, really good. They're, honestly, they're probably two of our deepest rooms, uh, quarterback or the running backs and wideouts. So you know, I'm really excited for um, what they're going to be able to do for us and help us this season. What do you say about some of the new guys that you've added at the wide receiver position? Because obviously there's no Matt Kipp and Hammer this year, who was the top target from last year. What have you seen from some of those new guys through camp? Yeah, no, they're they're really good. Um, we've had some transfers come in that are definitely going to help us, and then also some young guys like uh, Javon and Reggie, who are um, you know just second year guys that are going to be able to really do some special things for us this season. Brett, what can you tell us uh, about Miami? I'm sure you've gotten to at least look at them and film a little. Yeah, bit. no, we've we've already started watching film. Um, you know, they're going to be they're going to be a very talented team. Um, that's obvious, but you know, I think. We're going to be able to scheme some stuff up, and um, I think it'll be a good game. Are you, you and the guys excited to try and prove once and for all who's the real Miami? Oh, yeah. Uh, that's going to be awesome. That'll be fun. I think this plays off the same question, but the, the real Miami is where? In, in, in Coral Gables or here nope. in Oxford? Oxford, Ohio. <laughs> because you're around longer, you're just – no, I just think uh, I think we'll we'll show them uh, September first. Anybody else got anything? Um, I'll ask Chuck as well. But from a quarterback perspective, how's it worked out along the uh, offensive line? You got some uh, new people in there, but uh, as a quarterback, it's been working out pretty well. Yeah, no, they've been doing a great job. Um, a lot of guys have been stepping up, um, doing really well. I think they've done a great job um, in spring ball and then all the way through uh, throughout fall camp. Um, they've made a lot of improvements, so I'm really excited. I wanted to ask you, I, he's on the other side of the ball, but just talk a little bit about what he, he adds to your team. and what. Yeah. Quite, he's, he's great. First of all, he's a good dude. He's a great person to have in the locker room. Um, and then he's also a great leader. Like, he leads the troops on the defense, so... Um, and then he's also just a great player, you know. I'm glad he's on my team. I'm glad I don't have to play him um, throughout the season. Okay, how weird is Miami versus Miami, first of all? Um, I don't think it's weird at all. I think it's a good uh, conversation starter and, you know, a good way to start off the season for us because it's like Miami versus Miami and get to see who's the real Miami. <laughs> the defense has uh... – Shown up, uh, very shown very well for the last couple of years. How's it feel? Is there a certain culture on that defense about uh, keeping the standards uh, high, especially when you go into these non-conference games? Um, I would say that it's really good. You know, our biggest thing is uh, just staying together. That's how we made it through last year. That's how we made it through camp, and even with young guys and everyone like that. So our biggest thing was just staying together. Let's talk about the secondary particularly because a lot of question marks going into the season. You lose some guys back there. But judging from what I've seen um, in fall, it seems like things are going pretty well back there. Yeah, um, I would say it's no different than the following years when like we've always been young and there's always been questions about, questions about that. So like with everyone being young and having that talent, I think that we will surprise everyone just like we've always been with us being young and having that going into every season. If anybody should know, the defense probably should know, how's it been looking at the offense development through the course of fall camp? Yeah, it's it's been really amazing just to see how those guys just push us, even though like it's been times where, you know, 
we we looked at like we're really good and whatnot. So just to show them them to show us that you know even they can keep us on our toes is really good for both of us and keep us all together and stuff like that. So it's been really good. I, I like a lot of things that they've been doing. They've been throwing a lot of new stuff at us and just keep like I would say we probably play with the amount of stuff that they threw at us. We we could say that we play almost every team already. So but it's been kind of crazy with the amount of stuff that they throw thrown at us. Uh, going into this first game at Miami, is there anywhere you see that maybe you even have an advantage over them or just a particular strength you think can help you guys win this game? Um, I would say just us staying together um, would be our biggest key uh, to beat Miami. You know, like Miami's a really good team and we look at ourselves as a really good team also. So I would just say like one of our strengths would be just staying together and, you know, going good or going bad. We got each other back. So that would be the biggest thing going into Miami. Everybody else good? Oh, one more here. You talked a little bit about Miami. I've su I'm sure that you've seen the Hurricanes on film. Uh, quarterback has been highly touted. What, what have you seen from their offense that you look at and say, okay, we got to work on that? Um, I would say going into the game with the unknown because, like, that, I think they got a, a new OC or whatnot. Right. And uh, I, I'm think their offense was like not really where they wanted it to be at for the f past few years. So I would say um, them trying to hang a lot of points on our head and show that, you know, yeah, we may be the good team, the best team in the MAC, as so to say, um, they probably trying to test that theory to see how good we really are and just to <laughs> give us all they got. So, um, but yeah, a, a lot of things that we saw was just trying to figure out what what they're going to try to throw at us. And just looking at a lot of stuff, it seems like they're going to try to give us everything they got. <laughs>